Welcome Trolls. <laughs> Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Bruce Schwartz. I'm from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. We're seeing things fall from the sky onto the moon. You know how hard it is? This was in the end of 219. You remember that when all the crap happened here? I had to go to court with a neighbor, blah, 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 while I stopped working on this. This is an amazing capture. And the object is so colorful. It's very big. And it was captured very close as compared to anything I've ever caught on the surface of the moon. There we see it going at another angle there. And it's not small. It's definitely not small. Um, did it land on the surface of the moon? Well, of course it landed on the surface of the moon. It didn't go by the moon. But that's really besides the point. I don't really care. I'm just seeing objects that are both landing and going by on the moon. Speaking of the moon, underneath that haze, there are UFOs interacting with the surface. These lights, whether they be mechanisms that are stationary, like this one that's moving, in movement, not stationary, are showing signs of projectiles, lights that are coming from the object around it. The light itself is coming from that object, the UFO. And then you see smokes and hazes and you say, wait a minute, how could there be smokes and hazes on the surface of the moon? Well, it's just like here on Earth. If there's smokes on Earth, could there be smokes and hazes on the moon? And you see oceans here on Earth and you say, well, could there be oceans on the moon? Who knows, right? There's fla definitely flashes of light. And those are proving, confirming 110% that there's a system of lights on the surface. Now, who could make a system of lights on the surface? Easy, an intelligent race, right? So some people say, well, possibly humans. Well, it could be, there's still someone up there. In this video, we're going to see some exclusive captures of UFOs, because you see, this is pretty exclusive as compared to regular UFO findings. And we can't really say regular, right? Has there been that many UFO findings declared by military around the world? Of course not. We saw a recent one that showed, look at the lights. Look at the lights on the surface. Look at the size that we're able to see them, how close we're able to see them. And it's just crazy. The military has never showed this, a UFO spraying on the surface of the moon, over the surface of the moon. It's like it's totally, totally mind-bogglingly crazy to be able to have caught that. And the footage and the research does not get out to other people. So thank God for you amazing people, my community, for coming here to see the research. You all know that what I'm capturing is unknown and it's not tampered with. It's just regular lights, crazy lights that have an intelligent notion to them, right? On the surface of the moon. They're very, very real. We'll see what else is exclusive. Are uh, the interaction of the lights touching the surface, like I'm seeing there, almost a teleportation, whatever it may be. No, but yes, right? What about gases coming from UFOs? Gases and colors, bright fluorescent colors on the surface. No filter here. That yellow was straight up um, the color that appeared on the surface. And you can see everywhere else is a haze. So it's gray, right? Because the moon seems gray. And that's that cloud cover hiding the surface. Sorry about the fan noise, everyone. It's a buzzing. Here's real speed. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine trying to see that. Let me tell you. It's a good thing that I looked back into the footage because I would have never have seen it because I didn't see this when it occurred and I saw it almost a year after I had filmed it. I saw this in some footage at one point saying, hey, wait a minute, and I saw it go by. Uh, I had to track down the uh, original footage and I'm not even sure which reel it was. Oh, reel, we're talking in the 80s or 70s, sorry. But yeah, I still call them reels. I still imagine I have these big reels of footage but we don't. We have these little uh, crappy cards <laughs> that break and disappear sometimes, the, the data on it. So here on the surface, literally on the surface, a light, but not just a light, an interaction with the light on the surface. And on and off, the lights go from left to right. They switch places, and then you'll see it'll skip right across um, 
the whole page here, the screen. And don't forget, watch this. You're going to see it advance, but you're going to see everything moving at the same time in a simultaneous motion. You see both on the right, many miles away, and on the left. And then, whoop, a disappearing one on the right, then something appears on the left. So you see, it's like, what the heck's occurring? And the UFOs are reappearing in those same areas as the other UFOs are going further out. It's totally trippy, totally amazing being able to see that. Look at the light on the left, what it's doing. It's sort of teleporting itself across the surface of the moon. So why would they be there? Well, I guarantee you it's the structures. If there are clouds and hazes on the surface, and they're working underneath those clouds and hazes. We're going to see the lights underneath. And of course, we're just going to see a blur like we're seeing right here. But when the lights are flickering on the surface, <laughs> it's not the sun, right? Because obviously they're always saying, well, it's all the sun that's flickering on the surface. I beg to differ. There's that object we saw at the beginning of the video. It's definitely on fire, and there's definitely smoke as it approaches into the moon's atmosphere, which is basically <laughs> Earth's atmosphere, too, because our atmosphere extends the moon's atmosphere. Now, I want to talk to somebody, uh, the trolls, um, about satellites. I, I, many of you are showing on your channels that, hey, you're just catching, you know, people uh, with infrared cameras are just catching satellites. Well, does your satellite do this? It's changing directions. It's literally changing directions. So it's 125% confirmed, not a satellite. Um, I interact with them. So these lights, they do a whole bunch of different uh, things. They uh, intensify in light, they dim down in light, but this drastic change across the sky like this is confirming the lights we see in the sky are not all 100% satellites. The ones that are following each other Come on, one behind the other? Of course, SpaceX sends up the satellites. I see videos out now. The lights that I'm getting are far bigger, and first of all, I'm using infrared. This is not with the camera. Head over to Carefree Observatory, and go subscribe and check out what he's up to. He's building an observatory.